the rise of a star for the Seattle Mariners. Let's talk about it. Cal Raleigh has not only been one of the best players on the Seattle Mariners the past few seasons, but he has been one of the best catchers in baseball. But how did we get here? Cal Raleigh was drafted in the third round with the 90th overall pick by the Seattle Mariners back in the 2018 draft. Cal Raleigh was a Florida State product and being drafted that high definitely comes with some pressures. But that did not stop Cal because Cal during his minor league time was an absolute star for the Mariners. In 805 ABs, he hit 275 with 47 home runs and 151 RBIs. But just because Cal did that well down in the minor league system left no guarantees on how he would perform at the MLB level. And there was definitely some concerns after Cal's first year, but he did end up making his major league debut on July 11, 2021, where he went 0 for 4 on the day. His first hit would come nine days later on July 20th, 2021 against the Colorado Rockies, where he had a little bit of a duck fart single for his first major league hit. But it's safe to say that the first major league season for Cal Raleigh did not go as planned as he played in 47 games where he had two home runs, 13 RBIs, a 35% K rate, and a 180 batting average. He also posted up a negative 0.1 war in his first season in major league baseball. But let's say that did not turn out to be the Cal Rally that we know today. And ever since then, he's gotten better year after year. And I'm going to show you guys that through some a few photos based on offensive and defensive statistics. That is the main focus for today is that I just really want to show you guys how much Cal Raleigh has improved over the years and how he just keeps getting better and better offensively and defensively. So cue the offensive chart. So as you can see, in his first full season with the Mariners, he had 27 home runs, 63 RBIs, posted up a 4.2 war, and had a 9.2% walk rate. Moving into 2023, he improved in every single category. He had 30 home runs, 75 RBIs, a 4.3 war, and a 9.5% walk rate. But going into 2024, he still has 30 home runs, which I do believe he will break, so he's going to break his own record there. He has 93 RBIs, which is also a single season record. He has a 4.7 war, and 11.6% percent walk rate. As you can see, he just continues to get better year over year. And some of you guys are probably questioning me on why I put walk percentage in there. To me, that shows that Cal Raleigh is a definitely more intimidating hitter than a lot of people assume. His eye has definitely gotten better. He still chases a lot. He's going to have a high percentage of a K rate because that's just who he is as a hitter. But his walk rate has gone up because a lot of guys are honestly just scared to pitch to him at times. And he's gotten better at not chasing as much. But as a catcher, he holds four single season records in home runs, which he's about to beat his own record, RBIs, which he did this season. He holds the record for war right now at a 4.7. And then he also has the most runs scored by a catcher in a single season, which was 78 back in 2023. So now let's get a little bit into the nitty gritty of the defensive statistics that I feel like definitely get overlooked as a catcher. But as you can see, Cal definitely continues to improve at that position. So cue the defensive chart. So in 2022, Cal had 25 caught ceilings, which had him second in all of Major League Baseball. So he's definitely always had a hose. He had the fifth most innings by a catcher with 917. He had an 8 FRV, which is ninth in all of baseball. And then in framing, he had an 8 value, which would had him tied for fifth. Now, some of you are asking, what is an FRV? That is a field run value, which is basically a metric that includes outs above average, fielder throwing runs, catcher blocking, catcher framing, and catcher throwing. So it's basically a combination of all things catchers do into one statistic. So moving into 2023, he had 27 caught stealing, which also had him second in baseball. He had the second most innings played, which 1,038. His FRV actually declined down to a seven, which had him tied for fifth. And then his framing actually declined as well down to a value of six which was tied for fifth but back to my point that Cal Raleigh has just continued to get better and better in 2024 he leads all of baseball and caught stealing with 32 he has the most innings caught amongst the catcher with 1033 he has a 14 FRV which is double what he was at in 2023 which has him tied for second in all of baseball and his framing is up to a 12 value, which is second in all of baseball and also doubled from 2023. So there is no doubt that Kyle Raleigh continues to improve. And in my personal opinion, he is the best overall catcher in all of baseball. He does not hit for high average. He strikes out a lot, but he brings a lot of power. He brings a lot defensively. And to me, that just has him overvalued a lot of people. I know a lot of people overlook him because of his lower average and his higher K rate. He's not going to hit 280 like, you know, one of the Contreras brothers or Yannir Diaz. 
He's not going to hit for average. That's not who he is. And you, honestly, we shouldn't expect him to. He's a catcher. Most guys, most catchers hit ninth. Nobody really worries about them. But with Cal Raleigh, he is our four hitter. He is our guy. He's our go-to clutch player when we need him in the clutch. But Cal Raleigh is not just breaking Mariners records. He is also breaking major league records. He is currently three home runs away from tying Mike Piazza for the most home runs through a catcher's first four years in major league baseball. He has passed Johnny Bench, Rudy York, and he's only needs three more home runs to pass Mike Piazza before this season is over. So like I said, the reason I made this video is to kind of show you guys a little bit of Cal Raleigh's story and kind of how we got to the point where, you know, he is one of the best players on the Seattle Mariners team and also the best, in my personal opinion, the best overall catcher in all of Major League Baseball in such a short period of time. I don't think back in 2021, a lot of people were thinking Cal Raleigh was the future of the Seattle Mariners catching position after his 47 games where he really did not show anything too impressive. And honestly, even at the beginning of his 2022 season, there really wasn't anything to be like, oh, he's our future and franchise catcher. But this is a guy that we definitely need to extend and he needs to become a Seattle Mariner for life. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I try to do a little bit something different for you guys because I don't usually do kind of the rise of a player. But I figured it would be cool to guys give you guys a little bit of the rise of Cal Raleigh and how much he really has just improved year after year after year. And hopefully he can just keep trending up as time goes on. But I had to give him some love because he really has been a huge part of the 2024 Seattle Mariners and even a huge part of a few teams in the past. But like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.